Yes, Bono. Hey, Chaz. Hey, how, how you are going? you? Good. Uh, you are here. You're now. We'll set up the clip in a moment, but you're acting. Yeah. What clip do you have? I don't know. Let's see what we have. Here. Okay. Let me see. You'll you know, be surprised. Uh, yeah. Maybe we don't have one. <laughs> He's co-starring in a local production of Proof, the Pulitzer Prize, Tony winning, uh, award-winning right play now, by don't have David Auburn. No, no. And here's the clip. Yeah. Do something. No. Yeah. Do something right now. Improv. No. Uh, yeah. No. I was just talking to your last guest, and we're literally. A couple blocks away, our theaters. Oh, really? So, yeah. Because she loves theater also. Yeah, the more yeah, people yeah. go to theater, the more people go to theater. Absolutely. So you, like, if you have five good restaurants on the block, you do better. It's, uh, that's Theater Row down there. Yes, so yes. this seems to be really your true love. Yeah, for acting, sure. Acting. And you studied it in school when you were younger. Yeah. And then took a major hiatus. Yeah. And then now, much later in life, you're finally, finally doing it. Yeah, definitely. It's got to feel good. It does feel good. And I mean, I've been back studying again intensively for like the last two and a half years so um and uh yeah proof is it's a great play it's a great part now um, you're playing a dead guy right uh yeah essentially i am playing a dead guy is that weird <laughs> <laughs> um what process do you go through for that you know what's what's harder i think is you're playing an old a guy who's a lot older than you are yeah yeah well, he's actually, he's not, he's in his 50s. All right. I'm in my 40s, but I look no, younger, no, so. You're not, not, you're not in your 40s. I just, uh, just turned that, that 46, makes, so. 46. Check, that please. Yeah. feel really yeah. Wow, um, I remember your baby in the arms, yeah. right? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a, it is kind of a strange process. Most of the scenes, he, it's flashback, so mm. I don't really have to think about the fact that I'm dead, but there is one scene that I am kind of, Dead. Yes. So, so it's harder playing older or playing a mathematician who's like a brainiac? Um, it's really funny. You, we, you've got a bunch of actors backstage talking, doing a play about math, and none of us know anything. <laughs> Probably all failed at about math. About nothing, not literally. You know the old yeah. the saying, that's why it's called acting. acting. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, but uh, he's, he's just, a, he's such an interesting character because mm -hmm. he's, yeah, he's this older guy. He's you know, he was this math genius. He's he's had mental illness um, and has this kind of great relationship with his daughter. So, now you've done a little TV here and there recently, but there's nothing like yeah. The, there's nothing like theater. Yeah, and, and the live studio, you, you know, studio audience. I guess they're not called that. They're just called an audience, right? Oh, they're just theater. called an audience. They're yeah. not a studio it's audience. Theater. But yeah. no, I mean, in LA, it's great. But you know, to have these these small theaters to be able to go to for for actors to you know, put up their own stuff yeah. and to have you feel a little bit in control in an industry where, you know, we go to auditions and we have no That's control. That's right. Remember, you basically in L.A. have actors not acting exactly. unless they're doing this. Unless they're doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. So. so you were an actor not acting for a long, long I time. I still am. <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting, well, I'm acting, but I'm not getting paid to do it yet. But yeah. So what yeah. took you so long? Why, why are you now finally really like getting into it? Um, I had to get some ducks in a row first mm -hmm. with my life, and uh, and realized that I that I wanted to go back to it. I, honestly, to be honest, I mean it was kind of a a slightly scary decision because I think I knew deep down that if I ever went back, that would be it. I wouldn't be able to right. do anything else yeah. again. And that it, you know, and that's kind of where I am. So in the one sense, you know, my life is amazing, and I feel more like creatively fulfilled than. I have in, since I was in high school, mm -hmm. um, but on the other hand, I have you know now all of this this angst of a non-working actor mm -hmm. going on in my 40s. So that's, speaking of angst, that yeah. moment before you walk out on stage, mm. every actor has a different way to handle that moment. What I don't do you get do? nervous. You, you don't? don't? No. Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. And there are people you probably you're working with who have been acting on stage constantly. And some of them need to throw up before they go no. on. No, well, it's all, I mean, m most of the people are in this w w were people from my acting studio, mm -hmm. uh, at least. There's, there's actually two casts to this. So half of them are people from my acting studio that we all got the, the call for the audition through that. And, but it went out, you know, around L.A. as well. So, mm -hmm. um, so I'm, you know, generally when it comes to doing theater, I'm, and That's everything that I do, I'm always the oldest you know, guy yeah. in the room. But butterflies um, is just such a, it's like part of it. Yeah. And I wonder if that's genetics or just because no, you grew uh, up uh, not at all. Showbiz, no, my mom is of? terrible. Does she get Yeah, for still it? terrible, terrible, terrible. We were just talking about that the other day. Because the only time I got nervous, she came to the show last weekend. That got me a little revved up. Yeah. Um, but we were talking about it because she gets, 
she still has, you know, gets so it's, nervous, it's and so, I don't. It's so amazing. You think of Cher is not just a performer, she's everything, she's right? She's a person yeah. who you, gets nervous? You would think she's the last person to get I know. nervous. You, you but would. that's part of the greatness, I think. I, yeah, and so we were talking, and I was like, I wonder if, it, you know, if I got it for my dad, did he get nervous before you went on, mm. all, you know? But hmm. no, luckily for the most part, I, I'm very at home on, yeah. you know, on stage. And so I'm just kind of looking forward to and it. And to the degree that people say, oh, it's Chaz Bono in the play. We've got to go see Chaz. Do you feel that pressure? Uh, no. I mean, I want to get people, you know, butts in the seat. So if, if that's what's motivating people, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's also, you know, it's, it's a great play. And it's, and it's, a, good, it's a good production of it. And I mean, we had this one, we've had one woman who came back twice and she saw it on Broadway and came to see our version twice, came back to bring friends. So I was like, that's All very right. flattering. That is flattering. Yes. Proof is at the Lounge Theaters in West Hollywood through April 12th. With ticket information, we have it on myfoxla.com. Good, to, Good see to see you. you again, Thanks so much. Thank you. you. Look great. Thank you. You lost a lot of weight, huh? Seven, yeah. Over, yeah. I mean, over, over time, <clears throat> now it's been, I've just been maintaining it now wow. for the last Are you still okay. couple sugar? of years. Um, for the most part, but man, it's been hard actually doing this play because these oh, these yeah. kids always bringing junk food backstage. I know. <laughs> stay away, stay away from the donuts. Exactly.